As of right now, who are the most broken characters in Tekken 8? Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Mad Mike. Remember, this is all just my personal preference, but feel free to comment about your own tier list in the comments down below. Let's do this. Jack 8! Alright, so Jack 8. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I have not fought this man enough. Honestly, the only time I play Tekken 8 online is doing ranked matches or playing with my friends. And I don't think I've run into a Jack player once. So I don't know if he's too strong or not strong enough. So we're just gonna leave it there. Jack! Pretty boy himself, Jin Kazama, the stinking guy. Not gonna lie, I love Jin, but the truth is, I do think he is a little OP. In my opinion, he's a great character for beginners. A lot of people might disagree with me on that. You can fight me in the comments. But the most difficult thing about learning him is entering Zen Stance, which you can just do with four, three plus four. Overall, I think he's a great character. I think he does have some moves that do need to be nerfed, but he's a ton of fun to play. Jin Kazama! <sighs> Listen, you all know where this is going. Dare I make her a tier of her own, but June is definitely going in broken. Yes, they nerfed a few things in the latest patch, but my brother in Christ, I don't think it was enough. Now it is partially my skill issue. I don't know how to face her that well, but gosh dang, man, I can't be the only one who thinks that she's still overpowered. I understand that this is her first time back in the series since Tekken 2, story lore wise, at least. She was in the tag games, and I know Hirata wants people to like her and play as her, but gosh dang, bro. I cannot tell you how many Junes I run into on ranked. It's ungodly. Now, she's not the only character, though, but we'll get to that later. Kazuya Mishima! Mr. Mishima himself. I will be completely honest with you. I don't like fighting Kazuya, but I don't see too much wrong with him. Let me rephrase that. I don't see enough wrong with him that they would need to buff him or nerf him. If this was just going off of my personal preference, I'd put him up there with Jin, but I think he's fine. I haven't met Kazuya's online who I think, oh, this character's broken. I'm not gonna lie, this is a bit of a tough one, but in my personal opinion, King is a little too OP. I know, I'm gonna have people disagreeing with me, especially King mains, I get it. All I need to do is duck to avoid his grabs. But still, bro, all I'm asking is that you make it a tiny bit easier to get out of the stinking 15 second cutscene when he grabs you with that one move. Like, bro, it's not okay, it's not okay. I don't wanna hear in the chat, oh, get good, cause I know the second you get grabbed by that, you're gonna be thinking the same exact thing as me. No! Lars Alexanderson. Personally, I want to learn Lars. He's really cool. Him kind of skating across the battlefield is neat, but I hate how deceptive his moves are. I can't tell if he's going for a medium or a low. It's like, bruv, what are you doing? My man is making out with the ground with half of his moveset, but it's not anything that's like crazy broken. I think I just need to learn the matchup, but still. So technically I should put him in perfect, but I'm going to put him in a little too OP. I can't stand the moves that are super deceptive and look like a low attack and then it's like a high attack or something. I get that that's a part of fighting. It's all about mind games and catching your opponent off guard, but there's got to be a limit, bro. I think I just need to fight him more, honestly. Marshall Law. Marshall Law, holy crud, dude. The only thing I need to say, please, for the love of all that's good, stop sweeping. That's all I hear people say to do with him. Other than that, honestly, Marshall's not too bad. So I put him between somewhere in a little OP and perfect, but I don't think that sweep alone is enough to put him in a little OP. So I think he's fine and perfect. I've had a few laws that I've run into that have been a problem. And then I've had a few that are like just fine. So I don't know. This one's kind of a toss up for me. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea where to put Paul. I wanna complain about how powerful he is, but that's like his entire thing. He's the strongest in the universe. But because I'm petty, I'm gonna put him in a little 2 OP. It's my tier list. Nina Williams! Nina Williams. I've fought quite a few Ninas. I think she's fine. I actually love what they've done with her in this game. Her guns can be a little cheap at times, but in all the previous Tekken games, I had no interest in playing this character. But in Tekken 8, she's actually really fun to play as. And I haven't had an encounter so far where I thought this character's way too OP. So I think she's fine where she's at. Man, so yeah! Ling Xiaoyu, holy moly, don't even get me started on this character. I could dedicate an entire vid to telling you how much I can't stand fighting this character. First off, we're gonna put you where you belong, honestly, in a separate tier at this point. Listen, the fact that she has the back stance and her low stance, what do you do with that, bruv? I can never seem to find a way around it. And the way that she can grab you, throw you on the ground, and then go into a combo from there is absurd. She's super fast, and her back stance makes her ungodly powerful. For just combo after combo after combo, it's like, bro, give me some breathing room. I hate fighting her. I know I need to learn her matchup more, but holy crud, dude. If I see a Link Xiaoyu, I might as well just forfeit. Asuka! 
Asuka's not bad. I never got to fight her much in Tekken 7, but fighting her in 8, I've discovered some of her moves are kind of delayed, which is interesting, and it definitely catches you off guard. I will say the one thing that annoys me about her is her counters, because oh my gosh, you just have players who will spam that. So fighting her, it's all about patience. If you see them going for the counter, just wait to attack and grab them. But I'm not gonna lie, it's still super annoying. So for me, she'd be between a little OP and perfect, and I want to put her in a little OP, but she's honestly not the worst, so I think she's fine. Leroy Smith. I've heard nothing but people say, please buff Leroy. And I know he was OP when he first debuted in Tekken 7, and so they had to nerf him super hard. So I think maybe in this game, he was nerfed a little too much. And I thought that. I thought that he was super weak. And then I fought one the other day. And gosh dang, the mix-ups from low to middle attacks are so fast and super unpredictable once he gets into his stance. But I don't think he's OP in any way. So I think he's fine, actually. <laughs> I don't really have anything to say about Lily. Kind of like Asuka, Lily has some attack animations that are delayed, and I'm not a fan of that. But that just comes down to me learning the matchup more and knowing what her moves look like. Plus, you gotta watch out for those low sweeps. But Lily's not bad at all. Oh gosh, Huarang. I want to be 100% biased and just put him in perfect because he's my main and I love him. But I need to be truthful and I'll say it. The pressure this man puts on is kind of unmatched. The flurry of kicks this man can send your way and mix it up however he wants is wild. So I can understand if people say he's a little OP. So for you guys, I'll put him up there. Claudio Serafina! Claudio Serafino. I personally have only fought Claudio like four times and the only thing i didn't like about fighting him is his arrow move bro it's kind of like kazia's laser and it's super annoying but other than that i don't think he's bad at all i think he's fine just go ahead and stick him in perfect azucena, azucena oh my gosh dude one of the cheapest characters that you can play if you're an azucena main i'm sorry it's a free country you can play her if you want but bruv if you've been on ranked then you know azucena's attacks are insane the speed the power her being able to go into her stance and dodge highs and lows is crazy and the punish capabilities is just absurd anytime i run into one online i start panicking she got the new character treatment which means let's make this character super overpowered so that people will love them that's fine but only do it by like a little bit azu has just way too much going for her and i can't believe they didn't nerf her in any way in the 1.04 patch like bruh <laughs> Raven. I'm gonna say it. He's a little OP. Shout out to XA Anime because he plays a really solid Raven. But when you go in for an attack and then he jumps back and a clone comes out and smacks you, like, bruh, how are you supposed to see that coming? That's probably the only thing, though. There's a few other little things that I would like them to nerf on Raven. But other than that, he's not too bad. It's just a case of me needing to learn the matchup. Sergei Dragunov. My guy, if you have been on ranked once, once, you will see a dragon up. I don't know what the deal is with him, but oh my gosh. I don't know what's up with people playing him, but I have never run into a character online so many times. And honestly, I'm so tired of fighting him. It's like he's the meta or something. JDCR plays him and everybody's like, you know what? I gotta pick up this character. It's like, bro, please. The knockback on his moves is wild. And the grabs he gets you in are super punishing. I didn't realize how much of a heavy hitter he was until I played as him the other day, just to see what all the hype was about. Lord, please nerve him. Kuma! Okay, so Kuma, if it wasn't for the stream I did the other day, which by the way, I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Kuma would have been in not sure because I never run into Kuma online. But oh my gosh, the one I did run into was wild. First off, his swipes are crazy powerful. So if you mess up fighting once, he's gonna hit you with like a 70 damage combo easily. Plus, since he's such a big character, when you're in the heat of battle, it's hard to tell when he's standing and when he's crouching. So that was a huge problem for me fighting him. I just felt like I couldn't get around him. I was fighting a brick wall with claws and fur and it could dance. Yeah, Kuma's weird, bro. I want to put him in a little OP, but he's a big, strong character. That's just what he is. So he's going to be in, like, borderline perfect. Borderline. I've honestly only fought Leo like three times, so I'm really not sure. I don't like the elbow attacks he hits you with, but I haven't run into anyone that was playing Leo too crazy that made me think he was broken or something. Shaheen! Shaheen is another not sure. Again, just don't see him online much. I fought him a few times and he seems like a pretty solid character, kind of bland, but again, just not sure. Stay back. 
I'm gonna say it. I get my butt kicked almost every time I fight a Steve. He's a really cool character. And honestly, if somebody main Steve, I just gotta respect him. Because that takes skill. His dodges can get very annoying. Him just dodging around your attacks and punching when he gets the chance. But that's Steve. That's his thing, man. So I respect it. And I think he's fine. Yo, me down. I don't care what anybody says. In my opinion, he's a little too OP. Again, I need to learn the matchup more, but my gosh, the flurry of attacks he can do with his sword, and then he can fly and grab you from the air. He's definitely on the bottom of this row. Like, there's not too much that I'd want nerfed, but I haven't fought too many Yoshis, so that might have something to do with it. Fang Wei, I think he's fine. His low attacks really annoy me though, because when you fight a Fang main, that's what they go for a lot of the times. Overall, he's a pretty solid character. So I just got back from fighting Fang, and uh, no, he is not okay. The unblockables this man has, the super armor. This man can stomp on the ground and you take damage. That is not okay. So hear me out, we nerf him. So I feel like Panda should go where Kuma is, but I've only fought Panda like twice since the game's been out. So honestly, I'm not sure. All right, so Alyssa, she's definitely going at a little too OP. Borderline broken. Fighting her is such a chore. All you hear is her yelling some Japanese word in her infant anime girl voice as she flies backwards and then launches towards you at 300 miles per hour. Is it a low, medium, or high? Can't tell. All I know is that she's flying across the freaking screen. Don't even get me started on the chainsaws, bro. She's definitely not the worst, but my gosh, is she annoying. Devil Jin. This man is definitely a little OP. I know he's Michael Murray's favorite, and who knows, maybe that's why he was like, this character can't be bottom tier. I don't know. But the things DJ can pull off, bruh. Overall, he's a really cool character, but him being able to fly, not a fun time to fight against. Lee Chow Lan. I haven't fought this man too much. I will say, though, his speed is insane. So I kind of want to put him in a little OP, because with his flips and his speedy kicks, I just can't find a way around him. But I've only fought him like five times, so that probably doesn't help. So I'd definitely put him somewhere between a little OP and perfect, but for now, I'm just not sure. Zafina! Zafina, again, someone else I'm not really sure. I fought her like three times online, that's it. Doesn't seem like the most popular character, but who knows? She's going in not sure as well. Also, I'd like to make a quick correction. Leroy probably needs to go here, just to be buffed a little bit. There you go. Problem solved. I don't know how I just noticed that I put him in the wrong tier. Victor! Chevalier! Victor, holy crud. Yep, right up here. Right up here. Can we all agree? Is there anything more I need to say? The grabs. The gun. Need I say more? Did he even get nerfed in the last patch? No, he didn't. They said they're looking into it. I'm like, bro, how do you not nerf? arguably the most broken character so far. Between him, June, and Azucena, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Brian Fiore. Honestly, it's a ton of fun to play as Brian, not as fun to fight, but I think he's great. I think he's just perfect. Granted, I haven't fought too many Brians, but he seems like a pretty well-balanced character, at least to me. Raina. Now, you guys might disagree with me on this, and yes, I might be biased, but I'm gonna stick her in a little OP. Some might say she is absolutely broken. Dare I say, out of the three characters... Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get so much hate for this. Oh, I don't know, actually. I just haven't run into a Reyna online that I felt I couldn't face off against properly. Like, I just need to find the gaps in her attacks. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna make a lot of people mad with this. She's like, you know what? We'll say she's like borderline broken, but not quite there yet. Here's how I think about it. When I run into a Reyna online, I'm not looking to forfeit and just quit out of the game, unlike when I run into Victor. That's just how I see it. But let me know what you guys think of this list in the comments down below. Do you agree with it? Disagree with it? And if you'd like to talk with me more about Tekken 8 or anything else for that matter, feel free to join the Discord. And don't forget, I stream Tekken 8 with viewers every week. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, you'll see me later.